Today I learned that when you're visiting the city by the bay, you may want to avoid spending too much time in the Tenderloin. I'm Roto Meyer, Google Developer Advocate. Join me today as I investigate the San Francisco Police Department Incidents Public Dataset to discover how crime is distributed around the city without the danger of having to go outside with BigQuery. If you create a heat map like this one, showing the density of SFPD incidents in San Francisco since 2010, the Tenderloin District really stands out as a place we probably want to avoid. We can investigate further by querying for areas with a high concentration of a particular crime. By calculating the standard deviation of both the latitude and longitude for each type of crime, we can find which crimes have the greatest concentration in a particular area, and where those areas are. From this table, we can see that drug crime is the most concentrated. In total, 75% of the drug-related crimes in the categories from the previous table occurred in this part of San Francisco. The red boundary here indicates the Tenderloin District. We also learned that prostitution arrests are highly concentrated. In this case, they're split between two separate but distinct areas. Now, by going in reverse, we get this table showing us the most highly distributed crimes, crimes that occur with similar frequencies all over the city. Notice that burglary, theft, and found property make up seven of the top ten. This map shows locations with at least one burglary or attempted break-in. In terms of residential break-ins, 74% are the only break-in recorded at that particular location. This map shows only locations with five or more burglary break-ins. In terms of personal safety, it's the areas where there's lots of tourists and shoppers where you're most likely to get mugged or pickpocketed while in the city, as shown in this heat map. BigQuery includes many more public data sets for San Francisco as well as other cities including New York and Chicago. What can you discover about the cities we live in? With BigQuery, your first terabyte of processing and 10 gigabytes of storage each month is free. Go to BigQuery today and create your own San Francisco and crime statistic visualizations and share them with us. And of course, subscribe to our channel and follow our blog to learn something new with BigQuery.